Hello again. So, it's been a while, uh, but here we are. I'm back and I'm going to do a little video about KDEN Live with uh, subtitling and speech to text. Uh, just for a little bit of background, uh, I'm running Ubuntu 2110, uh, GNOME 40, and I'm running a windowing system X11 at the moment because screencasting proved to be very difficult with Wayland thus far. I'm going to move over to KDEN Live here and grab a couple of videos. One is in English, the other one in French. I'll stick them into the uh, project bin. It's just proxying happily there, and in the meantime I'll stick the English one down on the timeline. This uh, guide zone, which happens to fit exactly at this point, may have to be uh, moved to it. I'm going to cover two things. One, just the subtitling with the language already installed, and the second one is importing another VOSC model for another language, uh, so that I can show you how to do that. First of all, with this one, so Project Subtitles Speech Recognition, and if we go up here, you see VOSC model small English US. I've got uh, a 40 meg VOSC model from the site. Uh, they have a 1.8 gig one. I haven't tried that yet, but this one will suffice for a demonstration. Just going to click Process there. And there we go. So it's dumped the uh, subtitles into a new subtitles track along the timeline. And if we Okay, so you can see, you know, a couple of little mistakes. There's one here, and with exit the train, we've exited. Uh, that's because I was mumbling. So you can now click on the uh, individual blocks inside the timeline, and you can see that they show up here where you can edit them. So I'm just going to edit that. Um, oops, if I can spell. Exit the train, etc., and then we can see that it shows up directly there. That's uh, very nice. That's uh, very simple and straightforward. So, and you can also, of course, extend these and condense them where you want to time it better with what's being said. So that's uh, the very simple one of the English. I'll delete that, uh, and I'm going to go to Settings, Configure KDEN Live, and in here in the Speech to Text uh, Speech to Text section, uh, we've got Download Speech Models from uh, this website here. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to scroll down here. Here you can see the one that I downloaded was uh, VOSC model, small English, 40 megabytes. And we're going to go down to the French version as well, which I just bypassed. There we are. 39 megabytes, lightweight, wideband model. And we're going to right click on the link, uh, copy link, and go back to Caden Live. Down here I'm going to click add. And in location I'm going to paste the link, which is to a zip file. It'll happily just import the zip file directly into KDEN Live and then decompress it, presumably. I'll press OK. Downloading model. Take a few moments. Right. I'd like to try some of the bigger ones, but I won't do this for this exercise here. There we go. Uh, Vosk model small, French, downloaded, new dictionary installed. Press OK. I'm going to pull the French video down, um, stick it on the timeline. And here we are. So, perfect. Let's grab that and uh, do it for the same amount of time. Let's say project subtitles, speech recognition, and here we have the French one. It's already selected and click process. So take a few moments, maybe a few moments more. These subtitles uh, get hard-coded into the video, so it doesn't export a subtitle file, but I think you can get it to, to do that. I will look into that later. There you go. It's, it's stuck it onto the timeline, and now we can have a look here. So, Very nice. I actually did it better than my English version. I think they speak more clearly. So there we are. That's uh, basically it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.